What's cracking guys? Welcome back to another one. Just before we begin, I would like to mention that this video is not sponsored by any means, shape or form. But of course, if you want to sponsor me Ferro Interactive, you know where to find me. Wink wink. Okay, with that out of the way, let's continue. If you guys don't know who Ferro Interactive are, here is a quick background of the company. Ferro Interactive is a video games developer and publisher for Mac OS, Linux, iOS, Android and Nintendo Switch platforms. It was founded in 1996 and it is based in London, UK. The company ported amazing titles to Android and iOS such as the original Rome Total War franchise including The Barbarian Invasion and Alexander, Grid Autosport and Tropico. By the way, Grid is getting a multiplayer, but I'll leave that for the review of Grid Autosport that I plan to do in the near future, so look forward to that. Disclaimer: The following is just my personal opinion and is based on my experience. Alright, Pharaoh Interactive is the best company out there on mobile and here is why. If you have subscribed to the channel, if you have not, I don't know what the hell is wrong with you. <laughs> you remember that I did a video a while back letting you guys know that I finally got my new phone. I'll leave a link to that somewhere down in the description below. In that specific video, I told you that even though I've got the Black Shark 3, a gaming phone with the latest specs on the market, Rome Total War was not allowing me to increase the unit size in it to the maximum and run this beauty on its full potential. Now it is true that unit sizes in the game are only a cosmetic change and do not affect gameplay, but I'll be damned if everyone here doesn't agree that it is way more fun to participate in battles with thousands of men than ones with only a few hundred. It turned out after a little research that my phone was not on the official support list <coughs> because it was so damn new and that caused all that jazz. I'm not bragging about it guys, just mentioning the fact. Of course, I wasn't going to let that one slide because I got my new phone just for that. To be able to play games at their max settings and bring you guys the awesome experience of it all. After a little thought, I decided to contact Ferro Interactive directly and I managed to get their official email from the Play Store. Now, I actually already knew where to look for them because I was one of the few lucky beta testers for Rome Total War when they needed search for Android. But that's not really relevant right now. Anyway, so I did what anyone would have done in my shoes. I've decided to write them, explaining the whole situation and at the same time providing them with the specs of my new device and as much information as possible. I asked them in the email if they plan to keep adding more and more of the new devices that come out to the supported list. And then, god damn, I was impressed. And I'm not even exaggerating. Ferro Interactive responded in a freaking day. Now, I'm amazed by that because usually big companies don't respond so quickly, if they respond at all. And because I was unfortunate enough to write Clay Entertainment a few months before that. Yeah, I'm still waiting for them to reply. Go figure. Look, I know that Ferro Interactive has around 50 to 100 employees and Clay Entertainment has only around 35, as stated in Wikipedia but that doesn't really excuse the lack of response from them. Don't get me wrong, Clay, we all love and support you, even if you can keep up with all the emails coming in or if you choose to ignore us, whatever the case may be. But screw this. Fuck it! This video is not about Clay, it is about Ferro Interactive and how they managed the whole situation. As mentioned, they responded to my email really fast and answered my questions to the point. Not only that, but they escalated the ticket to the dev team that was working on adding more devices to the support list for all their games so far. I had a nice talk with them about the games that they released on mobile 
and especially the Rome Total War series, and I asked them if they're open to suggestions. I was pleased to hear that they are still listening to the community about feedback on improving everything. That really speaks a lot about the company, and in my humble opinion, that is the proper way forward. From my experience with Rome Total War so far, and from what I was able to gather as information from you guys, and from my friends in real life, I provided them with three major suggestions where they can improve the experience even further of this already outstanding game. The first one was an issue with the unit placement. It sometimes happened when you try to place a unit down with two fingers, causing a purple highlight, and when you drag. Oftentimes when you release, the units were not facing the proper way that you tried to set them, and the formation was stretched out. Look, I'm no expert. If I had to make a wild guess, I'll say that most probably the issue resulted from the sensitivity of smartphone displays nowadays. Whatever was the case though, that needed to be fixed. The second suggestion was unit sizes that are currently dependent on supported devices. I love seeing that they're actively working towards the game supporting more and more of the new phones that come out. Expanding the list as time goes on is critical for keeping the game experience and reputation pristine because most people will naturally upgrade to a newer and more powerful phone sooner or later. And the third suggestion was the addition of multiplayer, which to be honest is a possibility considering that they are working on adding such on their other title, Grid Autosport. Speaking of unit sizes, looks like they managed to release a new update recently with which they added more devices to the support list and guess what? They added in my new phone as well. And they managed to fix the issue with the unit placement also because now it doesn't happen that much. When I discovered that they did that, I was eager to test how much units the phone can handle in one battle. And you're going to like the results. I found out that now we can have battles with up to 20,000 before we notice any kind of hiccups. 20 freaking thousand! That's insane! I love it! <laughs> I can't tell you how happy that made me because now I can start a new campaign with those unit sizes in place and thanks to that we're going to enjoy a lot more epicness. I know what you're thinking, but Pixel, why don't you continue your previous campaign with the new unit sizes in place? Well, because things don't always go as planned. From back in the day when Rome Total War was released on the PC, the saves were built to contain the unit size with which the player has started the campaign. So even if I try to continue from where we are now, the units will be as big as before. Because of that, I've decided to start the campaign once more from scratch. Of course, it will be once again on the hardest difficulty possible with no advice whatsoever. You know how we roll. I'd like to say a huge thank you to Fair Interactive for acting like a boss and setting an example for all other companies out there. We need more developers like that who listen to the community and have the user experience in mind. So keep being awesome, Pharaoh, and keep up the good work. As for you guys, keep supporting all the amazing developers who care about the player base because this sets a prime example to what companies should really aim for. And as always, I'll see all you beautiful sons of guns again in the next one.